Now let's look at the graph of the cotangent of x and just kind of become comfortable with that. Does it look more like the sine graph, cosine graph, or the tangent graph? Yeah, it looks a little bit more like the tangent graph, does it? Which makes sense because tangent and cotangents are reciprocals of each other. The tangent or the cotangent graph has a period of pi. So if I were to, between any two vertical asymptotes, it, it repeats every pi units down the road. The domain are all real numbers, except for where it crashes on the vertical asymptotes, just like on the tangent. For cotangent, those vertical asymptotes are at integral multiples of pi. So pi, two pi, three pi, and so forth. That's where the domain does not exist at. And consequently, that's where the vertical asymptotes are. Range, all real numbers. Vertical asymptotes we've talked about, x-intercepts. Again, the midway point between two vertical asymptotes. It's an odd function, so it has symmetry about the origin. And then again, we notice that the key points one-fourth and three-fourths of the way through a period, we're able to have a value of the amplitude or equal to the amplitude of the function. So if it was just a cotangent of x, the amplitude is one. So one-fourth of the way from the, from the first um, or from an asymptote, I have a value of one. Three-fourths of the way, I have a value of negative one. It's the reverse of the tangent. And likewise, that's true across all of them as we go. So that's a little bit of an introduction of what the graph of cotangent looks like. Let's look at a couple of variations and see what variations of this graph can do.